just about everyone has grown up with the idea that pork and chicken are supposed to be white meat. But if an animal is raised on its proper diet, its flesh will be darker than what we are used to. This corresponds to the vitamin, mineral, element, and fatty acid content of the food. As this changes or becomes more, we see certain characteristics in animal foods as well as fruits and vegetables change. And it's not necessarily a darker color. It would be a darker shade of the current color. So don't expect, you know, beef to be black. Don't expect bananas to be orange. But you should expect your beef to have a deeper tinge of red. Your bananas should be a deeper shade of yellow. Broccoli should be emerald green. When we're looking at these foods, we want them to be a darker version of what we are used to seeing. That means a higher micronutrient content, which means healthy and happy people. Especially in the case of these conventionally raised meats, like pork, chicken, wild-caught fish, we see when they are farm-raised, they are lighter in color and they lack nutrients. Even in salmon, they literally have to feed the fish dyed pellets to change the color. When you stuff pigs full of corn and soy, same with chickens, not only are you losing the nutrient content of the food, you're making it bad for you. You are what you eat. If an animal eats corn and soy, its fatty tissue is going to become composed of those vegetable oils, of that linoleic acid, and it's going to be bad for you. Today, we are going to take a look at Iberico-style pork. Uh, this is a Spanish breed of pig that is raised on pasture, a high acorn diet usually. Uh, they forage through the forest, through the trees, get very nutrient-dense foods uh, from bugs to really whatever the pigs could eat. Uh, this is a product we are offering on Frankie's Free Range Meat. So, Guys, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com, see what we have to offer. Uh, this will be available as a pastured pork box, and in the future, we're looking to bring even more stuff on, so keep an eye out over the next few weeks. At the moment, we will be offering six cuts in our pork box, and as you guys can see, the meat is literally as red as beef, and if you smell this, you can smell the nuttiness. It literally smells like acorns. It is completely insane. So this is the tenderloin. Uh, this will be likely cut and portioned into steaks like this. Very tender piece of meat, very lean, very approachable. Here we have the ribeye bone in. And this comes usually like this because it's a pretty small animal. So if you were to debone this, uh, it would be a very small ribeye, but this is the ribeye of the pig, and it has a lot of marbling, a little lighter in color, but that's because of all the fat throughout throughout the meat. This, this I'm really excited to try. Here we have the strip loin. It's a bit leaner. So this is the New York strip steak. We can see the fat on the outside, that line of fat that's typical on the strip steak, and a little bit of marbling throughout the steak. These are also, you know, a good combination of fat and lean. Of course, we have the bacon. This is, this is amazing. This is like starting to melt. You know, when fat has a high monounsaturated fat content, it can literally start melting at room temperature. You know, and then in, in like, in grain fed animals like cows, you'll notice that the fat is really gristly and nothing like this. This is super soft. It's melting. Really looks amazing. We're excited to be providing this belly for you guys, and in the future, we will be making it into bacon. And then we have two types of ribs back here. We have the baby back style ribs and the St. Louis style ribs. Since it is a relatively small animal, you know, these are best kept on the bone. You know, just throw these on the grill, marinate them, throw them in the oven. You know, for the steaks, all I really like doing, just salt, pepper, pan sear or on the grill. The belly, I really like curing into bacon. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys a secret bacon curing recipe in the future. We just use pretty much salt and a type of sweetener, and then we smoke it. No preservatives, nothing artificial. The ribs, I really like marinating and like honey, coconut aminos, uh, some garlic, some spices. Uh, I think adding 
heavily seasoned stuff like fish sauce, especially, uh, to things like ribs. Uh, fish sauce is uh, fermented anchovy sauce that's typical uh, to Southeast Asia. But these very flavorful cuts can stand up to a lot of flavor themselves. A lot of you guys ask me, can I eat chicken raw? Can I eat pork raw? And my answer is usually no. You need a very high quality, properly raised product in order to be able to consume it raw safely. When an animal is fed an unnatural diet, they can develop unusual antibiotic resistant and very powerful strains of bacteria in their stomachs. In this case, we have a super high quality animal that I am perfectly okay with eating raw. Here I actually have a piece uh, of the tenderloin. Uh, this is the end piece that doesn't usually cut too well into medallion steaks. So, and I can even take this apart with my hands. It's so tender. Just a piece like that. This is insane. It's so complex and flavorful. And this is completely raw. There's no salt on it. You know, there's nothing on it. Maybe it's the Italian in me that likes pork so much, but you make this into tartare. Insane. And the tenderloin is a cut that's not even that flavorful. I'm going to throw some of these steaks on the grill. We'll cook up some of the ribs and give those a try as well. I grilled up a few of the cuts here, just some salt on each side. I have the filet mignon, the New York strip, the ribeye, and the bacon. We are going to taste these in order of the fat content, the leanest to the fattiest. So here's the filet. I would say this is a perfect medium rare for pork. A little bit of red in the middle, pink to the edges. It doesn't taste like pork. It's like a whole different meat. When I say a food is complex, I mean that it has more depth of flavor of what it's supposed to taste like. So this tastes incredibly porky. It's rich. It has a better texture. Every aspect of this meat is infinitely better than anything else I've ever had. Like if you gave this to someone, they probably wouldn't think it was pork. Okay, so now we're gonna try the strip loin. This one I think I overcooked a little bit. Looks like it's still a bit pink in the middle. So I'll say this is a medium. This is really good even when cooked to a medium temperature. It's so juicy. You could see the, uh, the meat's really moist, like I squeeze it and the meat's dripping everywhere. The strip wine has that little bit of fat on the end and a little bit of fat throughout. I can definitely taste the nuttiness, the complexity. It's a bit richer than the filet mignon for sure. Uh, now we'll move on to the, the ribeye. Same cooking temperature as the strip, about medium. Still very moist. It's a bit more tender because it has a higher fat content. A bit richer tasting as well. All right, so now we're moving on to the bacon. Not really bacon, but you know, pork belly. Bacon would have to be cured and smoked. This is absolutely like, it's so good. The quality of this meat is so high. If you take the belly, put a little bit of salt on it, throw it on the grill, it will taste better than any bacon you've ever had before. Doesn't matter how many spices, how much sugar, how much smoke they put on that bacon. This is 10 times better. That fat just tastes unbelievable. If you guys have not had pastured pork before, get your hands on some. 
whether it's from Frankie's Free Range Meat or somewhere else. We will be offering the belly, the strip loin, as well as the two rib cuts in our pork box. The tenderloin and the ribeye will be sold separately as add-ons. We have discount codes available. If your order is $200 or more, you get 5% off. $300 is 10% off and $500 is 15% off. Not only are our prices the lowest online right now, with the discount code, that takes it a step further. Our quality and affordability will not be matched by anyone. We are looking to add products every single week. Uh, the more support we get from you guys, the more orders we get, uh, the quicker we will be able to add products that you guys are asking for. Uh, chicken and fish, we're trying to make it happen as soon as possible. Uh, things like eggs, uh, raw dairy, that stuff, additional products, really depend on what our sales are like and whether or not we can afford to have facilities and things we need to provide those products for you guys. So please check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, if you guys could also like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. If you guys do get your order next week, hey, please leave a review. Uh, let us know what's going on. If you guys do want to take pictures of the meat or you know videotape yourself with the meat, hey, send it to me. I'd like to make a compilation video or at least post some stuff on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.